Taiho Yamada here at NAMM 2017, and I'm uh, so excited to be able to announce uh, my new synthesizer company, Mach. Uh, it's um, a group of us that uh, uh, were part of the um, Elisa Synthesizer Group, uh, worked on the Quadrasynth QS series uh, and Andromeda, and um, I've also, you know, worked on the uh, M Audio Venom and, of course, Traction's Biotech. Um, we're really excited to be back together and uh, making sense. And our first product is uh, Wave Razor. Wave Razor um, is a futuristic virtual synthesizer that uh, allows you to slice up waveforms and recombine them into, um, you know, new and aggressive sounds. Uh, the patent pending oscillator design, uh, it uh, allows you to slice up a, a cycle, a wave cycle into different fractions and uh, manipulate each one of these fractions in, um, uh, in different ways, uh, pitch, volume, um, uh, phase, DC, and all be manipulated independently for each, uh, each segment. Uh, it's granular related. Granular tends to lose the, the you know, frequency relationships of things. Um, and ours is more of just like slicing up a specific waveform. Um, all the, the pitch and phase relationship there is maintained um, unless you decide to modulate it away. Um, and that allows us to do some interesting new sounds. Uh, you have a central oscilloscope in the middle of the interface that allows you to see what's uh, going on in your waveform. And I've called up a, a patch that is a single oscillator, and uh, let's play it. So you can see it's a pretty complex waveform. It's, it's 16 uh, segments, and you can manipulate each segment individually by selecting it and changing pitch and volume. Since there's 16 waveforms going at the same time, it's not going to be very obvious what a small segment is doing. But uh, you, can, you can change uh, the wave type uh, and subcategories and do that for every segment. Um, zooming back out on... The, You're slicing the individual waveform and then manipulating each of those 16 segments then? Yeah. And is that 16 number fixed or is that arbitrary? Or? Um, 16 is the max right now, although it doesn't have to be. Um, but you can do any number between 1 and 16. So if you're at 1, you've got you know, a normal waveform. Um, and you know, any number in between. And these segments can be, um, the length of the segment can be uh, defined as well. So if you have four segments, you can say each one is a quarter of a waveform. Or you could say that each one is a full cycle of a different waveform. Or um, even beyond that, the, the step length can be uh, zoomed out to the point that it's like a wave sequence. It could have a BPM to it. Or it could zoom in to um, audio rates. So what we're seeing here is that audio rate. And one of the things about having multiple segments is that each one offers you the opportunity to reset the, uh, the phase of your waveform, which we know as hard sync. But hard sync usually is like um, you know one oscillator against another oscillator, and it resets every single cycle. Um, with us, we have an opportunity to do 16 different uh, sync points within the waveform or beyond the waveform. So we have a brand new kind of sync sound that I'll show you here. Um, we also have uh, what we're calling mutant AM or mutant aptitude modulation. It's like, you know, ring mod is uh, one oscillator modulating the amplitude of the other oscillator, right? And 
you know, we can do that. We can we can modulate the volume on and off of the oscillator, but the nature of the wave raiser oscillator means that you have different frequencies in each uh, step or each segment. So, you know, maybe the fundamental is there for you know three steps, and then it's gone the next step, and then back the next step. Um, the harmonic content can be different in each one of the steps, so you know who knows how that ends up. It all depends on which waveform you select to go into the different slot. So it's giving us this kind of quality that's like ring mod, but much thicker. Um, and I'll show you that right now. There are um, a few parameters that are uh, unique to this oscillator type, like uh, step size. Um, step size is a multiplier of the of the the length of each step. So. Um, you can start getting into wave sequencing territory. And then back to audio rate. Um, step fractions is the the amount of like the size of the, the wave uh, step. Step duty is like uh, pulse width of each step, and if you've arranged you know different waveform combinations on um, you know. Uh, in alternate windows, you can sort of fade back and forth between the wave combinations um, that are available. It's pretty thick. You can hear a little bit of the pulse happening. Uh, maybe a better one to show you is like a, like a more simple waveform for that. We'll, we'll head to that in a bit. Um, and then every parameter in the synth is modulatable. You can actually go in and modulate the, the waveforms themselves. Um, so it's a pretty thick sound. Again, this is a single oscillator going right here. Um, that's three oscillators, um, sort of doing rhythm, um, uh, sort of bass line and a counterpoint. So that sort of thing can happen too, wave sequencing. Uh, let's do one of these where it's easier to see. Uh, actually, let's pick another one. Let's go to... There, simple sine wave. So you can... You can select different waveforms, right? I think we have a little bit of uh, modulation going on somewhere. But you can also, uh, you know, change change the pitch of a single wave in that uh, in that cycle. Change the levels. Change the phase. And then all of a sudden, you've got an uh, entirely different waveform. That one's 
um, you can hear the balance between the waveform types a little bit better because it's a simpler uh, waveform. You know, it's a patent pending oscillator technology. It's brand new. We're still trying to name parameters even. Um, and so I'm discovering new techniques all the time, but so far it's been really good for doing like really abrasive, gritty sounds. Um, so uh, there's that. And, and for the show, I wanted to be able to show that stuff off. So I've left the filter open in a lot of these patches. But uh, you, know, you can have three filters uh, per voice in the patch. You can run them in parallel or in series. So we'll get some filtering in there to smooth things over um, and make some more subtle patches. to release uh, March 1st. Um, the uh, introductory sale price is going to be $75 US. Uh, and then about a month or so after that, we'll uh, release another version with full editing capabilities. Right now we have a lot of the parameters just uh, surfaced to, um, uh, to be kind of fun for the user to, to get introduced to WaveRazor. There are a little over 700 parameters per oscillator when it's fully maxed out, which is, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's more than whole synthesizers. Um, so it's going to take us a while to come up with a user interface to um, manage that sort of thing. Um, so about a month after we initially ship, We'll have another release. Um, price is going to go up to $150, but if you buy the, early, you know, if you buy early at $75, um, you get the update for free.